Hi, this is Jindo. Welcome to Tree Leaf. There are people truly suffering tonight without a place to sleep, without loved ones, children without to drink, without food, not only here in Japan, all over the world. Speechless. All we can do is, of course, offer money, maybe lend a hand where we can, and wish them metta that they be at ease through all their ills, that their lives be at peace. Embracing all conditions, even the most terrible, bearing the unbearable. There are truly people suffering. Here at Scuba, we got off pretty light. You just have to realize it's stuff. And like it, it's a cliche, but be grateful for life behind me that pile of stones is our roof that came tumbling down like rain. Fortunately, we weren't standing under it all. My wife was here in the house at the time, and it shook like uh, a ship at sea. <coughs> These heavy, heavy roof tiles, Japanese roof tiles, they just came pouring down, and that's the end of that. Yet yesterday, our neighbors came and worked all day, and they patched our roof. And then we went and helped with theirs and picked up walls that fell down and glass from broken windows. That's what people do at times like this. They help each other. That's all you can do. Wish everyone peace. People are in surprisingly good spirits even bearing the unbearable, I hope, about 200 kilometers north of here. It is a cliche just to say to be grateful for life, but it is precious. It is a cliche to say that it is just stuff, but the broken windows, the cracks in the wall, the rafters that are leaning a little sideways, and the, the broken roof can all be fixed. Even a broken heart can be fixed. But for now, we wish those who are bearing the unbearable that they somehow be at peace. And we hope that the food and the shelter arrives and sometimes here overhead, the rescue helicopters have been passing here all day, heading north. People have been writing me to suggest where to send money. I strongly recommend organizations like Doctors Without Borders or Save the Children. Not necessarily for Japan, you know, they're actually quite well off here. They'll take care of this, they'll get through. But there are places around the world, such as Haiti and Mexico, where these tragedies occur, and there is no one else to offer a hand. Those organizations do wonders. So I would suggest sending money to them to help not just the Japanese people, but truly people in need all over. Now, uh, To all the friends in the Sangha who have come together and written and offered support, to the members of our Sangha who have also borne the unbearable this past year with terrible health crises that people have gone through but somehow kept a stiff upper lip, and to all the people who have lost someone this year but have still somehow 
inspired us with their strength and their, their wisdom and compassion in those circumstances. To all of them, I want to say thank you. To the neighbors who fixed our roof, thank you. And to all the volunteers out there helping, thank you. Shall we sit with them? <laughs>